First thing I wanted to ask you, Marcy, is that you have um, Katie McCain that joined the cast. And I want to know what it was like working with her. She seems like she's such a great guy, a great girl, you know, a great person to work with. She's super cool, you know, and of course I adore Missy and there is never and will never be a replacement for Missy. Right. Um, but, but Katie has come in and just like left such a unique stamp. She and I have spent um, a lot of time over like what what is called teams, all this like video chatting that we do at work, just sort of getting to know each other. And, and she ha- she's a director too, so she mm-hmm. has another way that she's always looking at all of these scenes and the characters and their interactions. And I do see the difference in her approach, you know, and it, and it inspires me and she's done a lot of encouraging me to really lean hard into, um, feeding my artist self outside of just coming to work and playing the character of Abigail. And so I feel like she's taken a I mean, Missy also took like a, a genuine interest in my actual life as a person outside of work, but Katie has also, um, but it's from a different perspective. Katie's has been more sort of the professional career artist side of me. She's fed that and Missy was like this maternal um, feeding my um, interest in, just in my life and who I am as a person too. I mean, Katie did that too, but um, yeah, I love it. I, I'm sad to see her go. I wish that we could have both all the time. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, for both of you, I know it's been really hard with the, um, how hard has production been with the COVID challenges, everything that's gone on? Have you noticed a big difference or is it harder? Is it a little easier or are you used to it now? They've been, they've, the, everybody, at, everybody at Days who's been in charge of getting us back to work and and setting up the protocols has been amazing. I mean, Albert, Randy, Janet, Ken, um, and then the teams, the, the people that they put in place. To, it, it's, it's, it feels, unfortunately, very secondhand now. Like, it's, it, it's such a good process. It's simple, um, you know, and it's, it's just easy to follow. The rules are specific. Um, so it's it's uh it's unfortunate like it's not fun for anyone but it's they've made it as easy and and painless as as possible um you know it's um i think the hardest the hardest thing about it is there was a level of being able to prepare uh run lines and prepare and and get up and get on set and get acclimated with where you're walking and what you're saying when you're walking and that kind of stuff. And, and that has been the hardest thing to, um, to get used to because you don't have that. Everything is kind of just on the spot and, and for safety reasons. Uh, but as far as, um, I mean, that's, that's secondary to keeping everybody healthy. So um, mm-hmm. you just roll with the punches, but they've done a really good job. Um, I can't imagine trying to set up all that stuff to get people back to work. So my hands off. Yeah. Has it changed your guys' rhythm working together? You worked together so well before with this extra step in it. Has it changed your rhythm at all? Or it doesn't seem that way on screen, On screen, but I was just curious. I don't think so. I mean, for me, I don't think so. I mean, Billy's right across, literally his dressing room's right across the hall from me. So when he comes in, he's, I hear him. We're not allowed to be, be in each other's rooms, but I hear him yell through the door. Hey, Mark, hey, Marcy, how you doing? You know, it's, we, the greeting is different, but then we, we'll spend some time over FaceTime running lines and um, catching up here and there and whatnot and making sure we're staying in touch with one another. Um, so I don't, I don't think so. I think we've managed to still keep, keep that where it needs to be, I think. I hope it comes off that way. Mm-hmm. Then- yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy. Did I cut you off? Nope. I'm just agreeing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, fourteen thousand episodes is such a milestone in any you know any genre and anything. Um, as a cast member that has a show that's been on that long, um, is there anything that makes you feel nostalgic about it? Do you remember like your first time on set? 
um, maybe your favorite storyline, anything that you can share about being in a show that's been on that long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, like, who's going to speak first? Um, yeah. I mean, definitely. I've, I've said this before in other interviews, but um, my mother watched the show. And so throughout my like childhood and high school and whatnot, I've always, these faces have been sort of a part of my living room and a part of my atmosphere to some degree. And to then... You know, I, I never thought I'd live in LA. I never thought I'd be an actor. I never, I never thought any of these things. And now I'm here, and I'm suddenly in this, a part of this environment, a part of this, like, legacy, like generational thing. You know, and it's really cool. And I, I'll always remember my first day, my very first day coming in, because I think it was Deidre's, um, I think it was her 40th anniversary on the show happened to land on my first day, and so. She had this like whole film crew following her around and everything. Just they were sort of documenting a day in her world on the show, and I was this new pipsqueak of a person. And she was literally two hair and makeup chairs down from me, and I just here I was this like new afraid person in my dirty Converse. I'd ridden my bicycle into the set, and then there was this <laughs> woman who I had been watching for so long, you know. For so long and she had this camera crew it was just the juxtaposition between the two of us um was really cool and made that day yeah just really really special i'll never forget it <laughs> and billy what about you um yeah uh, so sometimes i think i'm still kind of unaware of of, of of the meaning of it and i don't like not in a way that i don't appreciate it but like it's 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 hard to fathom that it's you know you, you kind of walk through with your own eyes and your own experience so for me it's been like i think just even looking back when i started i was like i feel like i look like a baby <laughs> um and uh so to put that in just to put that short window and then and then you know multiply it by by 10 is like you know, uh, I, and I think when you when you walk around and you look at the pictures on the wall and you see like mm. Stephen Nichols is like a young man, yeah, and, uh, and and like Allison Sweeney is like a teenager. Then you're just like, <laughs> oh, this is this is bigger than I comprehend, um, than than I can like, I can fathom in my own experience, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that kind of lends, and then it's just like. I have a different appreciation for it now. When I was younger, I, I think I, I didn't, you know, it was more like, oh, I'm an actor and I'm doing your work and blah, 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 blah. But like now I think when you walk on set, there's a, maybe maybe the pandemic changed it a bit or just getting older, but I think there's a, this is just a level of, um, you know, you walk onto a set and it's and like what used to be like an old and dusty set is just like a dirty set. And now it's just like, oh, there's, this is like a, this is a, this is like an organism. Yeah, like, this is like a this is like a living thing <laughs> of like this studio. It's it's been here and it's been like yeah. There's history. There's there's history and there's um, you know there's there's blood and, and tears and, <laughs> and sweat. Literally every piece of fabric. <laughs> and uh, and so I think I, I have a different understanding of, of how kind of special that is now. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on being on the show, keeping it going, keeping, giving like people who are going through a hard time, something to watch and something to enjoy and something that feels familiar. So thank you guys for that. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Phyllis. Thank